When you're producing video, audio quality is at least as important as video quality. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use VideoWave's audio editor to improve the audio quality of your productions. Here's an example, a buddy telling a story about a particularly scary plane flight. Unfortunately, the audio is faint and slightly obscured by air conditioning hum. He said, we gotta, we gotta think about it, we have to make a crash landing, so get everybody strapped down. But uh, it's night, you're looking out, you know, all you see is, is you know, it's clouds and peeking through the clouds are these mountain peaks sticking up like God now, snow-capped mountains sticking up through the... And you lost your navigation. Let's see how we can fix that. I'll right-click the clip and choose Edit Native Audio. I can boost the audio volume of the entire clip by adjusting this volume control. But that just makes the air conditioning hum louder. He said, we got to think about it. We might have to make a crash landing, so get everybody strapped down. But uh, it's night, you're looking out, you know, all you see is, is you know, clouds and peeking through the clouds of this mountain. Let me reset that, and then click the Clean Audio button. Click a region in the track that contains only the background noise. That tells VideoWave which noise you want to remove. Then I'll click the Rewind button to get to the start. Here's the clip without the cleaning. He said, we got to think about it. We might have to make a crash landing, so get everybody strapped down. Then I'll click the Apply Cleaning Filter checkbox. And here's the clip with the cleaning filter. He said, we got to think about it. We might have to make a crash landing, so get everybody strapped down. Much better. So I'll click OK to close the dialog. Now I could boost the overall volume as before. But here's another option. Let me zoom in by clicking the Zoom button. Suppose I wanted to boost the volume when the subject is talking, and then reduce it when he's silent. I would drag this point at the start of the clip to maximum volume, then click a point where I want the audio volume to start going down. Drag that point to the top to maintain the same volume as this portion of the clip. Then click to create another point and drag that down. I don't want to go too far down because the edit would then be noticeable to the listener. Then reverse the process at the end of the silent region to come back up to full volume. Let's preview. He said, we got we to gotta think about it. We might have to make a crash landing, so get everybody strapped down. But, uh, it's not Sounds great. Then I would just drag the playhead to the right and repeat the procedure at other quiet spots. To delete a single point, click to select it and then click the Remove Selected Point button. To delete all points and start over, click the Reset All Points button. A couple of other controls you should know about. You can fade the audio in and out using these controls. Just click the checkbox and set the duration. If you're an advanced user, you can also customize your sound using either the simple or advanced equalizer, but these are beyond the scope of this tutorial. When you're done polishing your audio, click OK to close the window and return to the main VideoWave interface. It's hard to capture perfect audio during your shoots. Now you know how to improve your audio quality by removing noise and selectively adjusting audio volume.